Young and scared, two boys, French police, have taken off a train coming from the Italian town of Ventimiglia. Without documents, they are forced to return to Italy. Unless they can prove they are underaged, something that's often impossible. Kali from Guinea and Diawara from Côte d'Ivoire walk the four hours back from the border. After escaping economic hardship in their own countries, then racist violence while transiting in Tunisia, they survived a hazardous boat journey across the Mediterranean to Italy. France is my dream country since I was a child. They are the ones who colonized us. That's why I will try to enter again. It's our country. France and Guinea are the same country. But intense border checks within the Schengen zone have made these attempts difficult and dangerous. Refugees, migrants and asylum seekers have died hiding on top of trains or crossing mountains. The situation is difficult. We do what we can and what we are asked to do. But whether this is a long-term solution, that's a question for politicians. Under an EU agreement, refugees can only apply for asylum in the first country of arrival, which is often Italy. But Doctors Without Borders say 80% don't want to stay there. The strict border controls imposed by French authorities have led to a diplomatic row between France and Italy, with France accusing the Italian government of Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni of not being able to stop immigration, and Italy accusing France of letting it deal with the increased numbers of migrants and refugees alone. The result is what some have described as a ping-pong game involving human beings. After being pushed back to Italy, many people are homeless having lost any rights to protection and often living in poor conditions. For us it's important that all the, all the uh, Europe is going to try to find a solution. This means that it's uh, naturally uh, speaking, it's normal that the Italy represents like a bridge on the uh, Mediterranean, so everybody are arriving here. But it's important that then the Europe is taking charge to, um, uh, to manage this kind of uh, flow. As soon as they have recovered from their ordeal, Kali and the Awara will make another attempt to reach France. There is always hope. As long as I am alive, I have hope. If you don't have hope, you have nothing to live for. Others have resigned themselves to living in limbo in Italy, hoping someday their chances of a better life will improve. Step fast in Al Jazeera, Ventimiglia, Italy. Mexico's president, Andres Manuel 